Small disclaimer before this video starts. This is an actual edge detect effect in Blender, not like an edge wear effect or something. If you know what it is, that is completely mind blowing to you. If you don't know what it is, I'm going to explain it in this video. So you might as well keep watching. Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an edge detect effect in Blender. And this is just one of the best nodes I have ever made. So let's just get started with this uh, node group. First, delete the default scene. What is this? Delete. Blender 4.2 is something else, man. There's no way. Delete? This looks different. I don't like it. I want it back. Anyways, uh, add in an icosphere and set the subdivisions to five. Shade smooth. Then go over to the shader editor and the new material, goddess edge detect. All right, so now we need something with edges. And one thing I can think of is a Voronoi texture with the color. If we go into rendered mode, of course. Let's do EV. EV next. Really nice. Or is this going to crash uh, for some reason? I hope not. Why is it taking so long? What's happening? All right, it loaded. I have no idea why it took so long. Might be just uh, because it's more complex. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, this is what I was talking about, like these lines. And yeah, these are just blobs of colors. And there's not really much you can do about that. Uh, but sometimes you want to edge detect which is basically you want to detect where the, um, yeah, just the color becomes a different color. So as a person, I can clearly see that those lines are here. I can, I can draw on it perfectly fine, but the computer uh, doesn't really know. Blender, for example, doesn't have any notes that detect this. So we have to make that ourselves. And that's what you're going to be learning in this video. So we will be using the color from the Voronoi texture and then just detecting the edges. So what I found is if you add in a bump map and put this into the height, you will see this appear. And this actually has edges for some reason. Uh, normally it takes the distance and then just like it's a nice gradient. But with this color, it's just flat colors. And it's trying to find uh, from this height a bump map which you can pretty easily do from a height map, generate a bump map or a normal map. That's a pretty easy thing to do. So you just look at where the highest point is and then the lowest point, And then somewhere in between, you need to have a point that's shooting like 45 degrees out. And that's what it's trying to do here. And it's giving us a little bit of leeway that we can uh, use to our advantage. So if you add in a separate XYZ nodes, you will see uh, at the back side, you will see like the um, X direction will become white. And then once it's it's like a shooting in the Y direction or Z direction, it becomes black. And on the other side, it is flipped. So yeah, this is what we are going to be manipulating. But you can also see we have this gradient here in the middle, which is kind of interfering with what we want. So to fix that, or rather just make the node, you add in a texture coordinate node, put this here. And then grab the normal and then separate XYZ. Uh, the bump also uses the normal. So that's why we're going to be using the normal. And then if we preview the X direction and this X direction, you will see that it's the same, but just without the cracks. So we can now just do a difference mask. So add in a mix shader or mix color. Put this here uh, into the bottom and X into the top. And then just set this mix to difference. Then what we need to do is because this is not a mix, we can set the factor to one and you will see our cracks appear here, which is already really cool, but we can make this even better because at some angles you will see these lines become a little more faint, like for example here. And that's because we have these other directions that also have these lines. So we can just repeat this process for the other two directions and then just add them together. So now we have this right here, this right here and this right there. As you can see, there is some color variations. So that's why we do it uh, all the three directions. And then we just add a name math notes and then just add these together. Then duplicate this and these as well. Then at the end, you could do a clamp node if you want that, just to clamp it between zero and one. And this will be your edge detect. We can clean up the node graph a little bit like this, or maybe just hide these and put them under each other. Really nice and clean and yeah. If you want to use this in later projects, you can just select everything here. Hit Ctrl G. This will make a group. Then if you go to the group inputs right here, 
the result can be output and then the height can be input. You can hide these values. And now you have your nice edge detect node. Make sure to hit the shield or mark as an asset if you want to use this later. And this is what you're left with. The only thing I do have to say is this method doesn't really allow you to change the, the thickness of these lines, which does suck a little bit. I would like to be able to do that. Uh, maybe I'll think of a, a way later down the line, but for now, this is already mind blowing to me. I haven't seen any videos about this or even how to make an edge detect like efficiently. So yeah, this is it. You can just delete the Voronoi and maybe add in a a texture with a lot of contrast, like this JS placement texture I have here. Uh, the UVs aren't great. Let's add in a UV sphere with the same material. Should be a little bit better. As you can see here, this just looks amazing. And you can bake this as an image as well, which is really, really cool. So I don't think it has to be set, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, your texture does have to have a little bit of contrast. Like if I add in a noise texture, this will not work properly, as you will see right here. But once I add in something like a math note and set this to greater than, just so if you preview it, it looks like this with a lot of contrast. This will actually work, as you can see here, which is really cool. All right, so a fix I found for if you're using images that don't necessarily have that much contrast or something, you can just drag in your image. Like if I were to put this into the edge detect, like I already showed, it will look something like this. And you can see the JPEG compression in this, which is pretty funny. But yeah, if you wanted to do an actual edge detect on this, uh, you can add in a math node then set this to snap and this will work a little bit better but you can just decrease the increment here in order to get more edge detections and this just works a little bit better than like the infinite edge detect you will get when you have uh, none of this maybe like 0.1 for this will be uh will be great of course it doesn't look good because this wouldn't be an image that you use edge detection on. So this is the default and this is with the snap. You can just see what this does here. Uh, point one just creates uh, 10 different colors in this image. Our edge detect will outline them. This will be after and this will be before. Works pretty well. One thing I do have to add to this is if you rotate the object, you will see it kind of breaks because it's using the normal. Uh, so you have to apply the rotation every time you do this. But then you can just bake it to the image, as I can show you right here. Or I don't have an image in here. This will actually bake to the image uh, really nicely, if you have a little bit more resolution, of course. And then you can just use this as the output, which achieves the same thing. And then you can rotate it, no problem. But yeah, that's something to keep in mind. So this probably won't be the best for like uh, animations or something. But if you want to bake and you just need an edge detect, go ahead with this it's uh, really easy so yeah i'm really happy with this node group it will be available on my gumroad and patreon so you can check it out there if you enjoyed this or learned something please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye